It's very easy for me to say to the Lord, I love you. But it's so hard to express my love for the Lord through a deed and an action that is based on love. To say things, it's easy. To do them, it's extremely hard. So the Lord kept the devil so that our love and faith and trust in the Lord gets put to the test. And some of us indeed will be thrown into prison. Who's going to throw us in prison? Satan. When the Lord Jesus said, walk through the narrow gate, for the gate is narrow and the path is very narrow, but that path leads to life eternal. Do not go through the wide, the wide gate because the wider gate is a very broad way, is a broad path. So many walk through that wider gate, but that path leads to absolute destruction. So many people decide and choose to walk through the wider gate and they end up in absolute trouble and destruction. But very few choose willingly to walk through the narrow gate adhering to the calling of the Messiah. When the Lord invites us to go through the narrow gate, He is not a harsh master. He is not a selfish master. He is not here to give us trouble and hardships. Quite the contrary. He wants to give us healing, salvation, redemption, and life eternal. Because He is love and true love. See, when you walk through the narrow gate, it can only fit you, no one else. You're the only one that can walk through it at that particular moment. The wider gate can fit so many people with you that come along. When you are surrounded by people, you are so preoccupied with those people that are surrounding you your ear is deaf to the voice of God, to the voice of Jesus Christ, our Lord and God. Because your ear is now opened to the people around you, to the people in your life. You're so busy with them, you don't have time for your beloved Jesus. But what are people going to do for you? When you are with those people, you're enjoying it. You're enjoying that moment. You're enjoying their presence. And you're enjoying life to the fullest. You're going out and you're going downtown, brother. You're going clubbing, Star City Casino, partying, drinking, you name it. There is no greater enjoyment than this. Finally, I'm free. But eventually, what are you going to do to your life and to your own self? You will destroy it and you will kill yourself by yourself. The wider gate brings a lot of people with you and if you are carrying any luggages of the past you will bring them with you and you will carry them through with you because the gate is extremely wide it fits you fits your luggages of the past and fits the people that are bad influence in your life all at the same time the narrow gate on the other hand when you come to go through it it only fits you, no one else. You need to drop all the people that are nothing but bad influence for you because they won't fit in that narrow gate. Jesus says, if you come, if you wish to be with me, if you wish to walk along with me, you need to come by yourself. Don't bring those bad influences with you. They will drag you and pull you down and they will separate you from your God. Drop your friends, so-called friends, the bad influences. And if you're carrying the luggages of the past, because us as human beings, the human nature, every time we look at our past, we always tend to focus on the ugly, the dark, 
the miserable moments in the past. We never look at the good times in the past. We always focus first on the negative things of our past and they come and haunt us and make us lose hope. And hope is the force, is the drive for you to go forth. Without hope, you will stop moving. Everything comes to a full halt. So naturally we focus on the negative moments of our past. The Lord says, when you're carrying the luggages of your past with you, which you do, when you come through the narrow gate, guess what? You can't take the luggages with you. You need to drop everything. You need to come you and you only. The Lord says, I want you. My son, give me your heart and let your eyes see my ways. My son, give me your heart and let your eyes see my ways. I want you. I don't want your past. I don't want your ugly past. I don't want any human influences in your life. I want you and you only. I love you, my child. I love you, my son. Drop everything and come as you are who you are.